The new pre-boarding phase of the onboarding process enables prospective workers to access and complete many of their onboarding tasks prior to starting work. The onboarding process activity guide supports two phases, the pre-boarding phase, tasks that occur prior to the hire date, and the onboarding phase, tasks that begin on or after the worker's first day. Future employees will access the onboarding activity style to begin their pre-boarding experience. The pre-boarding instructions page provides you with a quick snapshot of the full onboarding process. The top of the page displays your manager or other contacts. Select the person to send them an email notification if needed. The step section displays the tasks you'll need to perform, a brief description of the step, and when the step will become available. You can now access the rows that have a green check mark. The list will also show rows that aren't yet available but will be on your start date during the onboarding phase. You must mark each step as complete to finalize the pre-boarding phase. Organizations can include documents to have prospective employees read and acknowledge prior to their first day of work. The delivered standard pre-boarding template enables you to add personal details. Administrators can update system delivered activity guide templates or set up their own templates that enable prospective employees to begin accessing their benefits tasks, as well as payroll for North America tasks before their start date. The pre-boarding summary shows you where you are in the process. Each step status shows whether you've visited a step, if it's still in progress, or if you've marked it complete. The status for steps that are part of the onboarding phase show when the step will become available. If you've visited a step, you can mark it complete from this page. You can't complete a step that you haven't visited or those that are in progress. Select Go to Step to visit and complete that task. When you've finished all the steps in this phase of onboarding, you can complete the pre-boarding process and a message will be sent to the hiring manager notifying them of your status. You can exit the activity guide at any time and the guided process will save your progress. The onboarding activity style shows the number of remaining steps you need to complete for the pre-boarding phase of the process. On the first day of work, the activity guide switches to the onboarding phase of the process. The tile indicates how many more steps you need to complete before you are done with onboarding. A new welcome page appears for the onboarding phase, providing you with additional information to help you complete your tasks. Steps that weren't completed previously carry forward to this phase if they are not pre-boarding specific. New onboarding tasks are now available for you to visit and complete. Organizations can provide additional documents at this point that may be for internal use only. When you're done, access the overall summary page to ensure all tasks are finished and complete the onboarding event. This completes our demonstration of the pre-boarding feature, enabling employees to complete tasks prior to joining an organization. Reviewing and completing I-9s for U.S. employees is now easier. Employees can now use Fluid to enter and submit their I-9 information, and organizations can use Work Authorization Setup to enable approvals for I-9s, which also permits the delegation of this task, enable e-verify tracking, and specify returned row counts for viewing workers' I-9 data. In addition, administrators can use the Manage Form I-9 dashboard to view and oversee I-9 verification, and the employee's manager can complete Section 2 of the Form I-9. The My Tasks page shows newly submitted employment eligibility verifications that you need to address. Since an employer's verification needs to be completed within three days of starting work, this page shows you how long you have or if a verification is overdue. If you need to contact the employee to discuss the form, select the Employee Contact Details icon to view their phone number or email. 
access a row to complete the employer portion of the I-9. With approvals enabled, the pending approvals form I-9 request page appears where you can view a PDF of the employee's submission as well as view attachments they may have included. This is also where you will need to select the View Complete Section 2 link to complete the employer's portion of the I-9. After you've completed and submitted the data, return to the Pending Approvals Form I-9 Request page to approve the eligibility verification. You can also push back the request to have the worker resubmit the form. If approvals aren't enabled, when you select a row from the My Task page, you're taken immediately to Section 2 of the Employer portion of the form. When approvals are enabled and you've been delegated the task of reviewing I-9 data on behalf of another person, the Delegated Tasks page will appear in this component. It works the same as the My Tasks page, but allows you to view and complete tasks for a delegator. Note that if approvals aren't enabled and you aren't set up as a delegate, this page won't appear. Employee Tasks shows all employees that haven't submitted their I-9s or who have had them pushed back. Use the complete I-9s page to view a list of employees that have verification data finished. Use filters to retrieve rows of data specific to your needs. From this page, you can also print batch or individual forms, record and track e-verify data, and view if documents are expiring or have expired. You can also select a row to access and enter data in the Supplement B Re-Verification and Rehire portion of the Verify Re-Verify Form I-9. This completes our demonstration of the Form I-9 Enhancements to Verify Employment Eligibility for U.S. Employees feature. Payroll for North America adds two new dashboards to its Insights collection to provide administrators the ability to view and analyze their W-2s for U.S. and territories and year-end audit data. Visualizations in the U.S. Year-End Trends dashboard enables administrators to examine year-end form count information from different perspectives. They can view the total number of forms generated for each supported form type visualize and compare form counts in a bar chart, and view the breakdown of total form counts by employee's electronic form consent status. You can also evaluate form counts in multiple ways, including employee's HR status or payroll status, paper or electronic print type for all employees or just terminated employees, and state and U.S. territory, as well as W-2 company. Use this tag cloud to find out which W-2 form boxes have the highest total amounts and check out the details. The U.S. Year-End Audit Dashboard provides visual representations of audit errors and corrections for year-end processing. The top of the dashboard displays important metrics that help administrators monitor the health of the process and answer questions like where there are audit errors, how many generated forms were paper forms, and how many were electronic forms. Use the year-end errors section to identify the errors encountered during processing, their number of occurrences, and associated form details. Use the year-end corrections section to view the count of correction forms generated and the list of corrections made for the year-end forms. This completes our demonstration of the year-end insights for US payroll feature. Payroll for North America delivers setup options that enable administrators to mark or clear all the OK to pay check boxes on the pay line details for an employee at the same time without needing to scroll to each row individually. Select OK to confirm the action. The system clears the OK to pay check box in all the pay line rows for the employee and changes the action button to unavailable. Administrators also have the option to select all the OK to pay check boxes for an employee in a mass update and access the OK to pay summary page 
to view the audit information of the OK to Pay checkbox for each pay line row. This completes our demonstration of the Payroll for North America OK to Pay All feature. In image 48, PeopleSoft HCM delivered the recognition feature and an integration that enabled managers and employees to view employee recognitions on performance documents using the View Recognitions icon. In this image, you can also insert employee recognitions as part of the performance documents. Added recognitions appear in the Recognition Summary section of the Documents for Review and can be deleted as needed. Use the View Recognitions link to insert additional recognitions. Another enhancement on the Performance Document page in this image is a new template option that allows the display of the step-level instructional text either directly on the page or on a pop-up page after selecting the View Action from the More Actions menu. The Team Rating Insights dashboard enables high-level managers to track the performance reviews of their departments and compare their review rating distribution against the predefined rating curve of the organization. The visualized data helps high-level managers identify the discrepancy and determine if and which rating data needs to be calibrated to ensure the alignment between the department's review rating distribution and the organization's expectation. From the Team Rating Insights, high-level managers can view the current performance review rating counts in the department, compare the performance review distribution of the department against the desired distribution set up by the organization, track the progress of performance reviews in different teams of the department, and view the percentage distribution of performance reviews. If team managers provided preliminary ratings in performance documents at the beginning of the review cycle, additional visualizations are available for high-level managers to see how well the preliminary ratings of documents match the review ratings that are given to them at the end of the review cycle, view the preliminary rating counts in the departments and in terms of percentage distribution, and Compare the preliminary rating distribution against the predefined curve of the organization. This completes the enhancement descriptions for performance management. PeopleSoft Time and Labor delivers the Meal Breaks Waiver feature in Image 50 to comply with state laws regarding meal and break requirements for non-exempt workers. This feature allows time reporters to waive breaks, calculate regular pay when breaks are not taken or waived, and analyze break payment. Time reporters can select the Waive Meal option to indicate their preference to take a meal break on that day. You can add a state to participate in the Meal Break Waiver. If the workgroup level override for Meal Break Waiver is disabled, Time reporters from this state can take advantage of the meal break waiver. If you set up a meal waiver option for a state, you can optionally select the attestation ID. This lets time reporters acknowledge they're taking a break. PeopleSoft Acknowledgement Framework allows your organization to customize the acknowledgement. This completes the time reporters waiving meal breaks feature description. PeopleSoft introduces a collapsible filtering enhancement to the Benefits Statement page, improving usability for both employees and benefits administrators. This update includes a new filter section with additional filters and buttons to help you save time and reduce scrolling. The Event Year and Enrollment Event filters list all the years and events with a statement, enabling you to verify statements across many years. Employees with multiple jobs can select their statement using the Job Title filter. This filter only displays when you have a statement for more than one job. Choose your filter options and select Apply 
to update the filtered results of the benefits statements. Selecting Reset sets all the filters to their default values and displays all your statements. The Benefits Administrator also has access to these filters on the Review Employee Statements page. This completes the filtering enhancements for benefit statements description. PeopleSoft delivers another enhancement to Candidate Gateway, enabling external applicants to enter their personal information on the Job Offer page. After you accept your offer, you can use the Personal Data section to submit your Social Security number and date of birth. Recruiters and recruiting administrators can then view these details on the Manage Applicant page without having to call the applicant for this information. This completes the additional details in Job Offer Feature Description. The Guided Personnel Actions for U.S. Federal HR streamlines the process for entering changes to federal job data, also referred to as the Personnel Action Request or PAR process. It uses the Approval Workflow Engine to streamline PAR approval processes. HCM Image 50 introduces a major enhancement to the Fluid Guided PAR functionality, enabling final PAR approvers to modify key fields such as Effective Date, Action, Action Reason, Nature of Action Code, and Business Unit before granting final approval. This improvement allows final PAR administrators to adjust the effective date if approvals are delayed and set the correct effective date for a personal action request. This completes the Edit Effective Date for Federal Transactions feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.